Hey everybody, this is Locks with My Electric, and today I'm doing another tutorial video. Today, let's do basic editing in Sony Vegas 12. I last showed you how to create a template, and today we're going to be going over a few of the basics here. So, for importing media, I like to use the drag and drop method. So, I just grab my video, pull it into the timeline of Sony Vegas, and you can see it has a little outline of the video and audio track and it will automatically create both of these. Now you can name these whatever you want to. Oftentimes I won't even name them if I'm doing like a template, uh, I may, but if I'm just working really quick on a video, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so we got our video in here, and uh, I'm just gonna show you some basic kind of stuff. Obviously you can drag and move your, your clip around. Um, some common things you may want to know about is, um, is adding a fade to a clip. Uh, there are several functions. If you kind of hover at the uh, at the end of a of a clip, you'll notice a couple of different icons will pop up. If you're if you're up there, you're adjusting a fade. It basically looks like that. Oh God, I hear really distracting audio that I'm sure you don't hear <laughs> from that game. So it just fades to black, fades in. If you get that thing that kind of looks like a square, you're actually sizing the clip itself. So you're making a smaller clip. It's handy dandy. So sizing and fading. Um, you can also adjust the general opacity, which I really don't do too much, but if you're doing a, a fade from, let's say, another track, um, and you had a, a layer on top of this one, then uh, you could get some transparency effects. Let's say I'm gonna duplicate this track. Now I have uh, two of those. I'll pull that down, see what's going on there, just to give you an idea. You can do the same thing with the audio track here. This will adjust the overall gain of it. You can also adjust the volume slider here, as you saw me do. And this also adjusts the, uh, the opacity of this track. So for basic editing, for me, generally I like to just use the split command, which you can access from your menu up here. It should be edit and split. It's actually grayed out because I'm at the very front of the clip there. You want to go to the middle and then choose split and then you have basically a cut in it. Like if you were actually editing film, like in the, in the old days, this is what you would actually do to cut and edit out parts. So if you're doing a Let's Play, and you know that I'll generally cut out parts unless I'm doing a Nintendo Let's Play, um, that's how you do it. Um, you can use the S command on, on your key, or if you have a mouse, like I have the G500, I actually set the split uh, command to a key on my mouse because I use it all the time. So there's no point going to the menu, there's no point using my keyboard and you can delete out segments that you don't want and just kind of go through split you know you can you can move through and get what you want relatively quickly there's some other stuff you get automatic cross fading if you pull another clip on top of the other one and uh, you can see what this looks like the vegas display of it here is going to be really choppy depending on what your video source is I, this video source is actually an xvid clip so reference, having two sources uh, go through that compressor is going to make things really laggy. If you had something like JPEG, it's going to play decently smooth. A uh, command you want to be familiar with is when you do run into choppy points like this is doing a Shift B. And uh, this will basically render uh, just a small little section here based on your loop region. I'll show you how to set your loop region here. So now I can play that back, just that little segment there, and it will play smooth because it's actually loaded into RAM. Uh, your loop region can be set, if you just want to do it around a clip, you can double click on it and you have your loop region set. Um, you can also drag, like in an, in an empty track there, or it, like as long as you're not clicking on like a clip to move it around, you can just click and drag and, and you'll get your loop region set. So. So that's pretty much about it. Uh, modifying fades, sizing clips, uh, splitting clips, and you know deleting clips. These are the most basic commands, but you're going to be performing them all the time. So if you get those down and set, you're going to have a really you know simple and uh, easy editing method uh, to get you started working in Sony Vegas. So. I hope that this uh, video has been helpful to you. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and stay tuned for more tutorial videos right here on My Electric. See ya.